following the Boko Haram crisis in Borno State and some successes recorded by the Nigerian government uh, recently in pushing back against Boko Haram militants from near Maiduguri in liberated towns and villages in Borno State and at Damawa State, we sent one of our citizen reporters to go to the area and find out for us and our audience what life means for people in Borno State now that there seems to be some chance to go back home to their ancestral land. And our reporter went from Maiduguri, where you can see here clearly, uh, he saw people who, when going back to anywhere beyond Maiduguri, they had to wait, wait in a long queue and f you know be led by well-armed Nigerian troops into their individual villages along the road. We appreciate it this way. Before this arrangement, we used to go through Gombe to build. And it's, it takes you the whole of the day. From Maiduguri, you have to go through Yobe, through Gombe, then you come to build. And even as far as uh, Numan Askra from Maiduguri, you have to go to Gombe. Very long, you, it takes you the whole of the day. But it takes you now maybe two hours to build. Uh, yes. So, and then uh, by the escort, one, you feel very safe. Two, very short. Stre yes, stress free. Well, of course, we appreciate the efforts of the military now. At least to some certain extent, we are now enjoying. We are now enjoying the presence of the military, not only enjoying their presence, but enjoying their activities inside Meduguri and outside Meduguri. From here you will not see any village with the people until you reach Damboa. You know, this area is part of Sambisa. All this is part of Sambisa. Ever before this time, the whole areas were fully occupied by the insurgents. But uh, God in his infinite mercy, with the help of the military and the civilian JTF, uh, this has uh, been restored to back most of the settlements. By the time you move, you realize that all the villages have been bastardized as a result of this insurgency. And one good thing about this road, or one unfortunate thing about this road, normally even before this insurgency, these villages were known for uh, uh, antisocial activities like armed robbery and so on. Yes, before the insurgency. So when this insurgency came, you realize that all the villagers are in one way or the other involved because they, they participated. And that was why all their villages have been uh, uh, destroyed as a result of their action and reaction. But now they are beginning to go back to their places, more especially those residing in Damboa. Damboa is filled with people now. But that of Biu, you know, there's nothing bad there. Biu was very clear. Biu has no any problem with in terms of this insurgency because there was a lot of cooperation from the youths and the elders. Everyone participated in seeing that they protect their area. You know, normally the case of security should not be left in the hands of the security men. It is a all people work. People must come together in order to see that they provide security for themselves. Where you cooperate with the military, you realize that uh, you are safe. And in Chibok, where there was a kidnapping of over 200 girls uh, a few years ago, you have to have an identity card uh, to actually enter and exit Chibok village. Also, our reporter traveled with a hidden camera with a military troop. Of course, uh, we couldn't get much of footage from that. And traveled further down uh, into Bruno State 
and these are some of the voices we got back from the trip uh, talking about how life is in areas formerly held by Boko Haram militants. Gabati amu kapala zama. Ama enzaka mwala amdi dilai. Gwamnati yana tala pa mana iya gwagwaren kalfi. Yana kawo mana abunchi. Ya biwa ka amu kuma sojo jimu suna nuna iya gwagwaren kalfi nsu. Pisa bidi lahi. Suli ke mu amana. Basa so kochi wang kamu. Umu mputada su. Alhamdulillahi mwenja muna doka galabani. Boko Haram zuwa mudambuwa wana ya kai kusan so uku fudu uko biyara sunzo sinkawo atak. Ama dika ana gama adesu. Dika ana gama adesu. Ba muda azibiti. Yanzu ishiasa nanda na muti ya fita bazea ya ino waba. Nabiyo gunati tinda msang mzo dambuwa bao nita imokunda ya imana. Dekir abunchu mazamu samo msara yanzu da muke saya murtala tara yanzu ya koma 100 kwano sha ya koma 300 a 300 ma mutun ya fita ya sare yake tukuna ya siya akwai kuma yinwa a gare nan eh da muna siyan masara 5000 shinkafa 8000 bon na yogo market by rice for 16000 mess 13000 how you small people will go and buy eh now We couldn't get much of military cooperation to travel further, and we cannot confirm some of, uh, you know, uh, the position of the Nigerian military that there is no territory currently held by Boko Haram on Nigerian soil. Uh, we don't know how far that is true. What we're hearing from villages is that some territory is still in the hands of Boko Haram militants, and the fact that the Nigerian military kept. Uh, making statements that they're doing clearance of areas regularly and having confrontations with remnants of Boko Haram fighters. And most importantly, because they haven't been able to locate Chibo girls that were kidnapped by Boko Haram, it is clear that the Islamist movement or militant is still clearly holding territory. Uh, of course, they wanted to create their own territory between Nigeria, Cameroon, and Chad and I think part of Niger. We don't know where exactly Boko Haram is. Uh, I mean, the core of Boko Haram leadership at this moment. But we know uh, from reports we hear from Nigerian military and people still living in, in Borno State, in the rural areas of Borno State, that Boko Haram is still very, very active, though slightly diminished uh, in the state. So this is what we can bring for, for you uh, from the field and we hope that uh, we can bring you more in the future.